I'm actually going to introduce uh, both of you guys, and I'm going to start uh, by uh, throwing it over to you, Francis. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, you know, what you do and uh, your position there at uh, Chemequip. I worked for Chemequip for seven years, and I was uh, I, I, I am responsible for the international market. Perfect. That's great. And, and Albert, let's uh, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about what you do here at Solex. Uh, so I've been with Solex for about nine years now. Uh, I originally started out in research and development, which is how I was first introduced to the team at Chemequip via some of our work uh, developing the soda ash market in China. Uh, since then, I've moved uh, through the organization, did a little bit of time uh, in field service where I got more chances to interact with, uh, with the Chemequip team doing uh, equipment startups over in, in China again. Uh, and currently I'm the, the regional sales director for the Asia Pacific region. Uh, and part of that role is uh, liaising and working with uh, the team at Chemequip to uh, really drive the bulk solids heat exchanger market in China, uh, where Chemequip is our major partner. Uh, tell me a little bit about Chemequip and, uh, and what you guys do. Uh, Chemequip was founded in 2004 and it headquartered in Shanghai of China. Our company is an entity enterprise specializing in the research, development, production, sales and service of black coil and saving for an array of the chemical, energy and financing and environmental protection. In addition, our, com our company is a high-tech enterprise certified by the Chinese government and have 23 patents of plate foil series productors. Chemcup has been a global partner with Solix company for more than 10 years to undertake the, ser the series manufacturing and after sales. Okay, and I I'll say, you know, from the, from the Solix side of things, uh, you know, being part of this this growth story that we've seen with Chemequip over the past, uh, you know, about 15 years of our working relationship has been really, uh, really incredible to see, you know, the benefit for Solex is, 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 is more than just having um, a strong manufacturing uh, sales service partner there. Um, really, the, the, the expertise that Chemequip has been able to develop um, internally and through um, just a large number of projects that they're taking on. Uh, it's it's really uh, you know a situation where one plus one uh, is is way more than two in this case, um, and seeing uh, like I say the team at Chemequip develop their their strengths and their know how, um, especially in uh, some of the big markets where they're active uh, with uh, the bulk solids coolers, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, it's it's really just been a, a really cool journey to be on. Uh, tell me a little bit about what Chemequip does. Chemical specializes in plate coil series productors, uh, which are suitable for solid spark flow heat exchange and static melting crystallizer uh, and the flow dust heat exchange, and ice maker and phony film tuner, or the scenario ice machine, sewage heat exchange, or other customized heat exchange are some provided. Uh, I'm interested, what are some of the current trends uh, that you're seeing in the Chinese market? Today in the Chinese, China have a complex range of industries and the many industries have all the leading production capacity and product quality. The main application areas of our products are urea, on compound fertilizers, and the soda ash, and the DAP. And uh, on that note, you know, I think one of the things to really highlight here is, is you know, there's a, been a, a, a huge change in kind of the the, the types of plants that we're working in in China. So, um, you know, back in 2012, when we'd go there, uh, the plants that we were being de decommissioned had often been in operation for, for 40 or 50 years. Um, so there was these really huge in production improvements to be made. Um, but uh, now, like Francis mentioned, the plants okay. that you see when you go to China are absolutely world class. Um, you know, you can't get really much more modern facilities uh, than, than what you find in China. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting. And I think that it's um, pretty telling about how strongly the, the government feels about some of the, uh, the regulations and things like that that are coming into effect. Within the government the requirement about the environmental protection and the energy saving and emission reductions, some small enterprises are gradually shutting down or acquired by the large enterprises. 
For example, most of the production lines are more than 400,000 pounds per year in the real enterprise. With the closure of the small plant, plants and the rise of the large production lines, we, are, we will encounter a new round of opportunities. The Chinese government is determined to stimulate eliminate the smart or so the requirements for the uh, ultra ego exhaust and the gas treatment are getting higher and higher. Uh, recently, we have obtained many super large projects in the field of the exhaust gas welding, uh, uh, eliminating in the scenario of the pollution of white smoke. The pro these projects are still growing. Uh, last week, I we 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 finished our commission commission commissioning a, a, a similar project about the animal eliminating the small smart in the Fujian province. Maybe. So, are these uh, a, a customer of uh, of Chemequip where they had purchased a, a DAP cooler, and now you're able to uh, help them out with the uh, uh, white smoke removal as well? Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> glad that we can uh, glad that we can help the customers in, uh, in in more ways than one. So sorry, how many of the uh, uh, flue gas conditioners have you uh, worked with now? That's uh, about about seven, seven seven projects. That's a lot because I mean, on average, these projects uh, like the size of the equipment physically it's it's much much bigger than uh, a yes, standard yes. bulk solids cooler, right? Like we're talking thousands and thousands of square meters of heat transfer area, right? Yes. Yeah, no, it's it's a really cool, uh, really cool new technology, a really cool new market that uh, really interesting market that you guys are moving into there. I'm I'm very curious to to see one in person. I'd also be curious to see how you transport one of those because uh, they're very big. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see those going down the road. Uh, and then, as in the trust companies have higher and higher requirements for the purity of the finished products, the higher the purity, the higher of the, the higher the profit of the Company. Our static melting crystallizer is becoming more and more popular. We we know that you know there's a lot of stuff going on in China. We know that it's um, you know there's there's a lot of work being done there. Uh, you know you approach it without focus. It's it's too big. Um, it is such a huge market geographically. It's you know bigger than the the continental U.S. When you look at the number of uh, you know, manufacturing facilities and things like that. We're talking, you know, half of everything in the world gets built in China. You really have to, uh, you know, uh, approach markets with a, a crazy amount of focus um, and really be targeted and really focused in your efforts. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get lost uh, <laughs> you know, running all over the countryside. But I think it's it's really, a, a, uh, you know, speaks a lot to the the strength of the team at Chemequip. Um, given that kind of breadth of the market that's going on there that you guys have managed to expand. I mean, uh, from the, the start in soda ash and urea um, to MPK and DAP compound fertilizers that uh, you're working in, Francis, um, and now also with the other uh, technology lines. Uh, with the help of these engineering companies and the Chinese Belt and Road, we have successfully obtained some projects in Pakistan, uh, 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 Arabia, Arabia, Russia, and other countries. Yeah. So, are you working with uh, these engineering companies uh, with uh, the refrigeration equipment as well, or primarily with uh, the the solid heat exchangers? Uh, so, solid heat exchangers. Okay. Yeah. No. It's it's been really interesting to see um, again just the development of expertise in the the Chinese engineering companies that uh, we're working with. You know, we've done. Projects as as Solex, we've done projects directly with uh, Chengdai Engineering uh, in the past. I believe also we've done a job with uh, with Wuhan Engineering, and I know that uh, um, Chemical works uh, very closely with these uh, these teams as well. And it's uh, again seeing that uh, kind of shift from outside uh, technology providers to more uh, homegrown uh, expertise and uh, process licensing. So. Um, you know, I'm, I'm most familiar with uh, the, the urea market in China and, uh, you know, seeing the development of independent technology licensors there has been uh, really impressive. Um, that's a market that's been primarily dominated by a few companies uh, from Europe and the United States. So to see uh, uh, 
these engineering companies like Wuhan uh, essentially generate their own processes after you know um, working building these plants for for a number of years has been uh, really interesting. And I think again that just speaks to this this overall trend of uh, you know really increasing sophistication. And one of the things that Francis mentioned, you know, a real focus on improving uh, the quality of the products that are being manufactured in China. Yes, in the future, there will be more and more similar projects. Okay, Francis, we're going to get into the, the last question. Uh, thanks so much for everything so far. Um, there's some exciting things going on in Chemequip's world. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the, your company's plans to expand production. Due to the continu continu conditions in the develop uh, development, the Chemequip's capacity has been a short supply. And the original Shanghai plant facing the highest environmental production equipment requirement in China. The new chemical equipment uh, 217 kilometers away from the Shanghai headquarters, was established in Shenzhen city, Anhui province, in September 2019. The new factory covers an area of uh, 25,000 square meters and the supporting of the office building, uh, reach and the development center and the staff dormitory were we accomplished by sub December 2020. Honestly, this is, uh, it's so exciting to see um, this plant uh, going ahead, this construction, this huge expansion. Um, again, you know, it kind of goes full circle back to, you know, the, just the, the story of growth uh, that we've seen with Chemequip. So uh, to see them come from, you know, just a, a, f a few guys uh, or, you know, a few people uh, working out of a small office there in uh, in, in Shanghai to having uh, the fabrication facility in Shanghai, expanding the production capability of that fabrication facility from, you know, one laser welding machine, then two laser welding machines, and then uh, the, the most recent laser welding I'm machine, sorry. which is, yeah, exactly. And, and that third one, man, what a machine that is uh, with the big six axis robot with the, the laser on the, oh man, that's a cool machine. And now, uh, you know, uh, this whole new facility out in uh, in Chuanshan, and that's you know, we're really uh, you know super excited to uh, uh, see that uh, that facility come online. Uh, Francis, I want to thank you so much for for taking the time uh, out of your schedule to sit down with Albert and I today uh, to talk about everything that's going on uh, with Chemequip. Uh, if people wanted to learn more about what Chemequip's doing, uh, where can they go to find out more? Uh, we. We have an uh, English website. And uh, I guess, uh, which uh, social media channels are you using? I know your team is on uh, LinkedIn. Are you on uh, other channels as well, other uh, platforms? Uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn and Facebook. 